Oh, you know, when I went to Florida, by the way, I landed in Miami. Every time I land into Miami, all, you immediately start seeing all these beautiful women. And every time I go there, I just hear Tony Montana's voice going, the city is like one big pussy waiting to get fucked. Um, and I was trying to bait Nia into those two women that were sitting in the front row to get into that fucking conversation. Um, but she didn't buy the bait. She didn't take the bait. Because they were like, why don't we have boyfriends? You know, and you should have seen them. Because you, I don't know, because you guys are, you're not wearing any clothes. <laughs> That'd be the one thing. As beautiful as you are, no guy wants to put up with that. You got to walk down the street like some overprotective dog. Hey, 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 hey. Keeping everybody away. Everybody's. I mean, one of them was barely wearing a shirt. Granted, I wasn't complaining for where I was standing from, but I mean, it just seemed kind of obvious. You know what I mean? You got to uh, you got to cover up the goods a little bit. I mean, I would say that to Madonna. I don't know if she's currently dating somebody right now, but Madonna is in fucking unbelievable shape for her age. And if she would just put on something elegant, you know what I mean? Instead of rolling around with half a f fucking pussy lip hanging out. I don't know why she does that. She said something late, you know, she did yet another. Like her whole fucking career has been like one big publicity stunt after another. You know, I'm wearing a, a wedding dress, but I'm fingering myself at the fucking awards show, right? You know, right from there. And then, oh, it's Jesus, but he's African-American. And now I'm trying to fuck him. It's just paint by numbers shock. And what's funny is I actually like her music. Borderline, feel like I'm done. I just keep, you know, that's actually how I threw out my back doing that Molly Ringwald dance. Um, anyways, yeah, and then she goes on Letterman. She says, fuck 50,000 times. She does stand up on The Tonight Show. It's just one big fucking thing after another. So her latest one was she showed up to a movie theater, not movie, uh, movie premiere or whatever the fuck. She, I don't know who the fuck knows what it was. You know, some fundraiser to get toothbrushes to uh, some fucking God's forsaken place. So she shows up. And she literally has her titties and her ass out, like a see-through dress. And she, of course, says, well, what I'm doing is I'm challenging the boundaries. And, um, of you know, of course, women, you know, got to drag all that bullshit in there. It's like, no, you're 57. Okay, nobody wants to look at that, okay? Like, at my age, I am, I am well into put on a fucking sport coat. <laughs> nobody wants to see it. It's just, uh, yeah, you're not pushing any boundaries. It's just, it's a, uh, you know, you're having a little bit of a midlife crisis. I think she looks fucking great, but she'd look way better if she fucking just, you know, you know, put on, put on a fucking dress. The fuck are you doing? I, mean, I don't know. But then again, I saw Iggy Pop, and he wasn't wearing a shirt, but I don't find, guys aren't, like, attractive. It was just sort of funny to me. Not funny. I just was, just him not giving a fuck. So I guess if she just said, look, I don't give a fuck. I just felt like having my ass and titties hanging out. I wouldn't have a problem with that. But, but the fact that she's sitting there trying to say that. No, no, wait a minute. I think she might be right. Maybe she is right. Hey, Nia. Come here. You got to answer this question. There's a chance I might become enlightened. And understand Madonna more. Until she comes here, I'll sing. Uh, I'll sing some of her, my favorite songs by her. Uh, bad boy, no bad girl, home by six. Hey, pick up the mic. I got a question for you. Now you want me back? Yep, that's like that street joke I told you, right? What? The one I heard Jackie the Joke Man tell. The one about the gorilla. No, the one with the, the, the fucking... Because <laughs> I like that one. The married guy, he's walking out of the house and his wife's yelling at him. Go, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. I never want to see you again. Mm -hmm. So he's walking away and she goes, I hope you die a long, slow, miserable death. And he turns around and he goes, oh, what? Now you want me back? <laughs> that's, stu well, that's a stupid joke. Just reminded me of that. Anyways, cool. I could have told it better, but I got I just got off the plane. Jackie the Joke Man tells it way better. Um... All right, so Madonna recently, mm. borderline, mm -hmm. um, she showed up at some fucking, you know, raise awareness thing. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was okay. a carpet. 
she showed up and she had her butt cheeks out and her titties out. Okay, this was the Met Ball that happens every year in New York City. And that's for the Mets? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Go Mets. But it's just for one of them? <laughs> I know, it's for the fucking museum. Yes. The hacky date every fucking person in their 20s goes on in New York. And Madonna. Let's go to a museum. Um, it's a big gala. Only the creme de la creme, darling, are invited. Uh, so Ralph Lauren pretends to fall and he sniffs her butt on the way down. Is that what happens? What? <laughs> yeah, those super rich people. They're all freaks, aren't they? I guess. Wasn't that the point of Eyes Wide Shut? <laughs> I don't know what the point of Eyes Wide Shut was. <laughs> well, what happened was Stanley Kubrick but died. I liked it. He died halfway through. I saw a great fucking movie on the plane called The Insiders. It's a, a movie made by uh, some Korean director, man. It was fucking phenomenal. Oh. Okay. Really enjoyed it. Okay. Had one of the best fucking fight scenes. The Insiders? I, I've, I've, I've seen, because the guy was missing a hand. Mm-hmm. You know, so he had to, like, fucking, you know, everybody knew what hand he was throwing, right? <laughs> and it was multiple attackers. It was okay. the shit. I almost gave it a standing ovation on the plane. Mm, right. If it was pre-9-11, I could have done it. But I started to do it, and they were like, sir, sir, why are you being hostile? <laughs> I had to sit down. Okay. It's another freedom lost. So anyways. <laughs> so fucking... Madonna shows up. Uh huh. Yeah, I saw her. Okay. So she says that she's trying to fucking push the boundaries of all, whatever, the fucking sex and that type of thing. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was going like, no, come on, you're 57. No one wants to see me without a shirt on. Granted, she's in better shape than I am. But, like, you know, I'm in my, my sport coat years, like, you know, covered up there, freckles. <laughs> right? So what I'm saying is. You, you're in your sport coat years? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you get to a certain point. You get in your 40s and stuff like that. Women dress elegantly and men dress like gentlemen. Yeah, in other words, I like that. Yeah, you cover up, uh, you know, the fucking battle scars of what you've been through. Okay. Too many fucking wine and cheese plates. <laughs> 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 no, what I'm saying is, so I was saying, if Mark Madonna just put on a nice dress, she could look really elegant. Yeah. Right? That's not really her vibe. Yeah, I know. I know, but you know something? It's like... Like, look, he, who's Ken who? Michael Jackson, if, if he was still alive. Do you, it, the short pants with the glitter socks. It's like, <laughs> come on, dude. At some point, you got to update the look. What is, what is your point with this whole Madonna thing? Is that so I, mess? I was saying that, but then I was like, wait a minute. But when I saw Iggy Pop with no shirt on, mm -hmm. I thought it was badass that, that he didn't give a fuck. So that, that's, that's bullshit. So I should be actually applauding Madonna. Wow, look at you. See that? That's yeah, not, that's, that's not, nice. oh, okay, I was going to say, you were going like, wow, look at you, you're really not as dumb. So my apologies to Madonna. Borderline. <laughs> Feels like I'm showing off my behind. Take it, look at my fucking 57-year-old titties. <laughs> she's not T 57. <laughs> she's my age. We're 10, she's 10 years, we're 10 years apart. So she's 50, wait, what? Madonna's I, about 57 years old. Wait, is yes, she? Yes, she is. She was born <gasps> the same she? year as Prince. Oh, shit. No, the same year as Michael Jackson. Michael oh. Jackson was 58. Prince was 58. I think yeah. Madonna was 58. I never know how old Madonna is ever. And that was like in 19... 19th... She's 57. Oh, my God. You're yeah. right. She's going to be 58, right? I had no idea. In August, yeah, she'll be 58. Yeah. So 1958, as far as music goes, mm -hmm. was kind of like 1943. 1943 was Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and Jim Morrison. Mm -hmm. All born 1943. And then they all died in 1970. And then people started to understand drugs and, you know, bringing a jump rope on the road and maybe I, becoming a vegan. So I now they, they live longer. Michael made it to 50. Prince made it to 57. Madonna's still going. Okay. Right. So All of them, <laughs> in their own way, kind of went on stage with their ass hanging out, right? Um, okay. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Nowhere. I got to fill, I gotta fill up an hour. Sometimes. I gotta, okay. You want to do some questions here? Okay. So okay. you brought me in to show me that you've, Evolved in seeing your own. No, I was trying double to. Double I was trying to see if that, if that was a double aging standard. Aging women and showing their bodies. Yeah, and you know, gotcha. double standard also works with women the way they look at guys in certain situations too. You guys aren't like.
perfect. No one, no one is claiming to be perfect. Okay, well, the media just seems to cover your complaints. <laughs> and then this just When happened. will you ever have a voice? Uh-huh. Thank God you have this podcast. I know. No one would hear me. Okay. Listen, Nia, yes, you got to understand, the world doesn't live with me. They don't have the privilege of living with me the way you do. <laughs> so I need to do this once a week. <laughs> That's a fucking beautiful watch. Who got you that? You did. That's right. Oh. Asshole. Really? Response 